All right, welcome back to How to Make Hero Concepts. Today we're going to be looking at Chopper and talking about deception in the role of diversion. Chopper, as you can see, has the role of diversion, meaning it's a um, diversion type of DPS. It's a DPS that can move quickly, um, distract people's attention, um, take over people's attention, or hide away and deceive people's attention. Today we're going to be talking about the deceptive form of a diversion DPS as a DPS that can sneak around the map, flank away, and get to the objective without being seen or being or hiding in plain sight. Chopper's primary ability is grabbers. He can grab people with his hands. He grabs, then throws them away. Just a simple grab, throw, grab, throw. And he has 15 of these. So it's just like uh, those um, grabbing, it's like a boxing glove. It's just a hand with a spring attached. So he can grab from a long distance away, grab them, punch, and then throw them away. His passive, Disguise, activate a disguise where you take the form of an enemy hero you killed until they respawn. So this gives you two different uh, abilities. It allows you to put on a disguise, so you deceive the enemy team. And it also tells you when the enemy hero you killed respawns, so you get two pieces of information. You can um, activate a disguise, making you appear to be the enemy hero you killed, and you can see when the enemy you killed respawns. So you know when they respawn, and you can see the enemy team. Because they can't kill you while you're that enemy hero. Duplicate. Duplicate yourself. Uh, this allows you to duplicate yourself. Basically, you have a clone of yourself that walks around just like you do. Uh, they can kill you, but your clone can't do anything. It's just a duplicate. So it's just a basic, just a trick. If they damage your clone, I mean, you're still alive. And if they duplicate, they kill the duplicate, you're still alive. So it's just a distraction. You can send that duplicate out of yourself just to, you know, run around. They keep shooting the duplicate while you can sneak around to the objective. Grabber hand. Hook a faraway enemy, just the hook ability. Hook to your location and hit them with your primary. Powder pot. Places a box that launches toxic confetti. So it's a trap. Place a box in a room. Enemy walks in. They get... They get a puff of toxic confetti straight into their face with that poison effect. And tickle monster, knock out an enemy, so you knock them, you knock them out, so they're basically either they're basically like sleeping, but it's kind of like a concussion, and tickle them, passive damage. You know, it's a pretty silly, silly thing here. Chomper's kind of a silly, silly uh, hero concept, but you know, you've got a pretty good set of abilities for deception. I mean, think about it. You activate your disguise as enemy hero and duplicate yourself. So it acts so you can see two versions of the enemy hero walking around. The enemy has to figure out not only if you're a duplicate or a disguised or not, but also has to figure out why there's two of the enemy hero that you're that you killed um, operating in their enemy in their field of view. So even if they figure out that you're not their teammate, you could duplicate so then they have to figure out which one of the the disguised teammate is actually the fake one, not knowing that both of them are the, are the fake ones, and now they have to figure out which one is you or the duplicate of the disguised enemy hero that you killed. Pretty good deception. And as we've seen before, this is not a finished concept because the ultimate is left blank. As we said before, you may you want to try and get these, you want to try and finish them before you present them to a possible gaming company when you're making your game, but it is okay for you to have some unfinished things as long as you plan to finish them at a later date. Alright, before we get on to our story, we'll look at the our horizontal stat block and then we'll continue talking about deception as a skill. It looks like we do have an ultimate here, so that is good news for us because we can update this this chart here rampage. This does get for you to show it is good enough for me to show you what we're going to be what um sorry blanking right now how um, you would type out a description for an ultimate here so times 2.5 damage basically just say times 2.5 damage so you do two and a half point five or 2.5 times extra damage meaning that your grabber instead of doing 20 damage a shot now does 50 damage a shot that's how 2.5 times damage works. All of your attacks are increased by times 2 and times 0.5. Alright, so let's do our general here. We have our name Chopper. 
as we said, it was a cookie thief as his description, and his play style, as we s play style, is flank, is he can move around with his deception. His primary was grabbers, as we described, those hands on springs to grab people and then throw them. Passive is disguise. Then we have duplicate, which you send out a clone of yourself. Powder pot, which is a trap. You place a box, enemy walks in, get a puff of toxic confetti. Grabber hand, which is the hook ability. And then finally, tickle monster. Knock down an enemy and tickle them. And then rampage. Rampage doubles du du 2.5 ols your damage, which is an ability. Tickle monster is a melee because you're tickling someone. Grabber hand is also a melee because it's a hook ability. Powder pot is a trap because you're placing a box. If it's triggered by an enemy, they'll be puffed with toxic confetti. Duplicate is an ability since it doesn't do any damage. Also disguise it ability because it doesn't do any damage. It just helps you in some way. And then grabbers are manual because it's projectile based. And then chopper's health, as we said, was 200. All right, so that is our vertical stat block. We will now go straight to a review on story, and then we'll talk a little bit about what makes this a deception. Review over what deception is, how you can use it in combat. You don't have to use these abilities. There are other ability options you can use, but let's look at Chopper's story. So Chopper is a villain. As an expert food thief, I mean, he's a thief, so obviously he's a criminal. Chopper is armed with multiple devices in order to allow him to steal from people and even bakeries and grocery stores. During the rebellions, we talked about this before, Chopper used to f steal food, cookies and cakes from donation boxes, food drives, and even homeless veterans to satisfy his cravings. So he's a thief, he'll steal from anybody, even donation boxes for people suffering from the rebellions, food drives for poor people, and even homeless veterans. He's a villain, he's a thief. He only wants food, he only wants sugar foods, he only wants sugary foods, and he'll do anything, he'll steal from anyone to satisfy his craving. All right, so this is going to do the end of this video. Of course, we're going to summarize deception. It's basically you're deceiving the enemy in order to get to the objective. If you disguise, they'll see you as an enemy teammate, and they'll be like, wait a second, he's dead. Why is he still alive? They'll question it for a bit, and they'll either kill you or just be like, eh, maybe he didn't die. Or duplicate yourself. If you're found out, then you just duplicate yourself. So now they have to have an added layer of deception. Not only do they have to figure out that you're disguised, but now they have to figure out which of you is actually which. Or the clone. So yeah, you can use disguise, duplicate, there's other ones, you can cloak yourself, you can turn invisible, you can hit an enemy from far away so they'll wonder, where'd that hit me? There's many things to distract an enemy. I mean that's really what the role diversion is. You're trying to either distract, divert attention, or flank around so that they have to go back to the objective. Because when you start contesting the objective, they're going to be like, Wait, someone's on the objective, now we have to go there. You're diverting their attention. Diverting, diversion, distract. It's all what the, the diversion role does. It's just a DPS that is meant to either divert, distract, or, um, divert, or cause a diversion, causing the enemies to not focus on the attacking, on the offensive or the defensive, and go wonder what the heck is going on because of you. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Like if you like, dislike if you don't, subscribe if you like it. I'll see you guys next time. Toodaloo!